Hey there, folks. Um, my name is Yashir Pandit Rao. I'm the captain of Team 12808 Revamped Robotics, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to explain to you guys a bit about one of the more unique aspects of our robot, our popper. Um, we unveiled this robot at Lead Meet 3, and um, after that, we've gotten a lot of questions, both in person and on Instagram, about various intricacies. So I'd like to take this opportunity to just go over this in detail with you guys. So um, I wanted to start off with a bit about the history and how we even came upon the solution, because it's it's a bit it's a bit of a unique and out of the box solution. Um, most teams are going for like a linear slide based mechanism, um, and I haven't really seen any of these uh, any of these around. So um, this actually stems to many years ago, to almost five years ago, to be more precise. Um, my previous team uh, that year, um, Team eighty seven sixteen Techaholics, had done a popper based mechanism for cascade effect. In Cascade Effect, it was a challenge where we had to take balls like this and um, deposit them into various height-based uh, cylinders. And um, we had decided to use a popper because it was the most efficient um, at getting the balls from ground level to the accurate desired height. We see a lot of similarities between this year's game and that year's game, which is why we decided that we wanted to um, improve upon our previous design and make it very, very efficient um, to suit this year's game. So one of the biggest differences that we found between this year and Cascade Effect was the fact that now we actually have to pop both balls and blocks. Um, in Cascade Effect, it was only balls. So we needed to figure out how we can uh, basically hold both of these elements in the same place to get an accurate pop every time. In order to do that, we created, we came up with many different designs, but eventually settled with this V. As you can see over here, this acts as a funnel to settle right onto the popper enabling us to effectively pop to the top of our robot. So if you look over here, when a ball sits, a ball, it sits perfectly, um, it, there's really no room for motion, but when a block sits, it comes in, and uh, regardless of how it's thrown, it always sits at this angle, or at a very slight variation of this angle. And by doing that, we're actually able to um, pop both the blocks. Oop. <laughs> and the balls. So now I want to get into our telescoping tubes. Um, as soon as we popped, we realized that we can't just blindly pop and pray that it gets into, the, into our tray. We needed to have a very, very controlled um, environment so that these elements would land in the exact same place every time. And that's how we came, that's why we came up with this telescope, telescoping uh, tubing. Initially, we had created a prototype of this out of metal. We'd created a version um, but actually one of our head refs in the state of Oregon basically made it very clear that the minerals and the elements have to be seen at every stage of the game. You can't have any large concealed uh, aspect because you can only hold two, um, two minerals at a time. And because of that, we went with this Lexan based tubing. As you can see, or polycarbonate. Um, as you can see, this is actually very thin polycarb. And uh, we, actually, um, we actually folded and glued these together at different radiuses, so that this one sits on top of this one, on top of this one, and uh, they all sit within one another. As you can see, the, um, the, bond, is, um, the bond is very free-flowing, I can even stick my finger through it, so we can bring it all the way up and bring it all the way down to be within 18 inches um, in the beginning of our match. So finally, I wanted to finish off by explaining how we actually power the, uh, power the, the spring and uh, power the pop itself. So over here, as you can see, we have the um, cam that I was talking about. This is a cam-based popper, which basically means we have a, uh, we have a rotational gear with various, um, various radiuses. It basically expands, the radius expands, until it hits a sharp cutoff. And that is connected directly to a spring-based system. And it basically, we pull the spring until a certain point, a set point, and then we release it. This allows it to be very consistent. This allows our pop to be, have the exact same force um, every single time. Over here, the way we've powered it is we've actually used a Torknado, or a 60 to 1 motor, um, with a 1 to 1 chain ratio. And that way, we're able to um, sort of combine the, the consistency of the pop with the speed we really want, as you saw in the, previous, um, in, the previous, um, in the previous part of this video. And finally, I also wanted to go over how we power our slides, because um, I thought this was quite unique, and I think that a lot of teams can actually use something like this. Um, it was definitely surprising for us, but it, it really does work. Um, so... 
Um, over here, we actually are using a continuous rotation servo to spool our motor, to spool our telescoping slide both up and down. Um, normally, when we're doing linear lifts, we always, always want to be using a motor. But we found that due to the lightness of the rev slides that we're using, this motor, this servo motor, was more than powerful enough. So that pretty much explains our popper. Um, we, uh, in order to get the elements actually into the popper, we have this very simple uh, intake over here. Um, and that basically reaches into the creator, collects, brings it right back into the robot. And by doing this, and then feeding it directly into the popper, we're able to very, very effectively score, um, score, in, uh, score all the way from that crater um, into the lander. So I hope this really helps. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, whatsoever um, please feel free to contact me. Um, you can contact us on Instagram uh, at revamp12808. Um, Twitter, same handle, revamp12808. Facebook at um, facebook.com slash revampedrobotics. Or please feel free to send us an email at revampedrobotics. Um, at uh, revampedrobotics at gmail.com. Also, be sure to check out uh, the blog post we've uh, done on our, uh, on our uh, website, revampedrobotics.com, to um, get a little more uh, detail about this mechanism. Thank you so much, and uh, hope you guys have a great season.